Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia, if you're new here, welcome and glad to have you. As you notice by the title, today I'm talking about trying to increase my breast milk and my breast milk journey. Just a little background information on me. I have two boys, I breastfed both of them. I lost my milk with my first at around 11 months and my second around 10 months. I was trying to make that one year mark, never got to it. And I figured that with my third, it would lower as well. Um, and so I start, actually started losing my milk around the five months mark and I'm currently six months postpartum she is six months old right now and I wanted to find a way to try to increase my breast milk I've never tried any supplements before so what I started doing was in early February I started documenting everything that I was doing I started documenting my pump sessions and whenever I drink tea or a lactation cookie in hopes to share my results with you all so let's get started with the very first thing that I started implementing to increase my breast milk and that is lactation cookies so just to show this is three and a half ounces I'm hoping to be able to film a video of an update that these lactation cookies worked and anything else that I've done to help increase my supply has worked that's where we're at right now here is that flaxseed got this at Target and I'm not going to be using a ton of it but I'm going to just be using I think a tablespoon or two of this and then this I bought off of Amazon I kind of went a little crazy this morning and put a tablespoon in my oatmeal and let me just tell you that is not the way to do it it tasted terrible so don't do that so we're we're gonna try the cookies out and hopefully you won't really be able to taste it because it was definitely a more oh gosh like a nutty I don't even know how to explain the taste of it it was very overpowering because I didn't have that much oatmeal in my bowl anyway but this stuff is pretty overpowering and it calls for one to two tablespoons for the directions it says take one to two tablespoons daily sprinkled on cereal salads I would not put this on a salad oh my gosh that sounds terrible I think baking with this would be the best option so let's Let's just get to it. I'm gonna be using old-fashioned like the rolled oats so not like the instant or anything I would just use the regular old-fashioned oats for this and I have two eggs out some butter and it's, I'm not gonna use the whole bag um, I don't want it to be like super chocolatey. I got all my wet ingredients in here I have the butter I have the sugar I have one cup of packed brown sugar half cup of regular sugar two eggs of vanilla and this is where I'm going to be adding in all that fun stuff the yeast and the flaxseed meal I am not sure how much really to add of these each. I'm gonna do two tablespoons though, I think, of flaxseed meal. No smell at all. If you've never seen flaxseed before, that is what it looks like. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons. Now the yeast is what scares me the most because I've already tasted it and it smells not that great. It kind of, I don't know what it smells like, like a dairy or hay, I don't really know, but it doesn't smell good. Um, so I think maybe I'm gonna do two tablespoons because I don't want it to be too overpowering. I still want it to be able to taste good. So let's start with two. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the dry ingredients, the flour, baking soda. So I think I'm gonna do two and a quarter cups of oatmeal just because of the amount of like other dry ingredients I added, that black seed and yeast. I don't want it to be super dry, so I'm going to take down the oats a little bit. I don't want it super chocolatey. I'm just gonna start out with one cup of chocolate chips and see how it looks from there. I'm kind of glad I did not add the whole two and a half cups of oatmeal because it is pretty heavy. I might have to put the oven up higher. I don't know. We're gonna experiment and then I'll let you know. Yeah, I think for me a cup is good. I don't want it super chocolatey. All right, so now I'm just gonna put these in the oven. Oh, I hope these taste good. I don't smell it. That's a good thing. It's a good sign. I'm just gonna start off by making a couple first because I honestly think that it's gonna need to be at a higher heat than what the recipe says, but um, we'll give this a try first and go from there. This struggle got purpose and we grow. This is nine minutes right here, so definitely needs a couple more minutes. The full 11 minutes, I think. Just pulled it out and let it sit for a little bit, but it is ready. It smells like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. You can't taste it at all, like at all. You can't smell it, can't taste it, nothing. Okay, smell this. Let me know if you can 
smell anything different about this. Nothing funky. Here, try a little bite. What is it supposed to be? It's an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie with brewer's yeast. Oh, yeah, it, it tastes like a cookie, right? It tastes like an oatmeal cookie. So I had my husband try it and smell it. He could not tell a difference between just like a regular oatmeal chocolate chip cookie and the lactation cookies. So I am going to be trying them. I'm probably gonna have like two, maybe three a day and see if it does anything. And I'm going to come back and update. I'm also gonna show you one other thing that I'm gonna be using and trying to build up my milk supply. My friend told me to buy this and that it really helped to keep it up and I've never tried it before so I picked this up at Target and you can have I think it says like five cups a day three to five cups a day I don't think I'm gonna go all that crazy I think I'm gonna have maybe one in the morning one at night and see if that helps it has fennel and fenugreek and fenugreek I have heard good things about so hopefully this all helps and like I said I'm going to update in a few days and let you know if anything has happened I officially began my experiment on February 9th. I had one cookie and one cup of tea before bed along with one cookie the next morning and for some reason I pumped nearly five ounces that morning. I'm not sure what happened there but I was extremely happy about that. Early on in the experiment, I was having two cups of tea a day, one like around the morning, afternoon time, and then one right before bed. But I eventually tapered it off around the two week mark and had only one cup of tea before bed. And I'm just going to explain to you real quick how you make this tea. You make one tea bag and you're going to let the tea steep in boiling water for 10 minutes. And you're going to cover your mug with a dish or something to ensure full extraction of the tea leaves. And once that 10 minutes is up, up, you can drink your tea. I do want to say that I feel that my supply really dipped at night. I'm not sure if that is the normal thing that happens, but I used to be able to pump two ounces at night, like right before bed. And then once I started implementing the brewer's yeast, I noticed that I was able to start getting three ounces, sometimes even three and a half ounces of breast milk at night before bed. So I think it really did help for those nighttime sessions. This bottle right here was from the night before. So like I said, I was only usually able to make two ounces. Here is three ounces. And this is actually after about nearly two and a half to three weeks of implementing the tea and the yeast in my diet. And here you can see that I was able to get three and a half ounces from a nighttime pump session. I also started implementing the brewer's yeast into other areas aside from cookies because to be honest, I started getting a little tired of the cookies. So I started making smoothies and oatmeal bowls. So to start the smoothie, you need to get a handful of greens. Here I'm using like about a cup of spinach and about half a cup to a full cup of almond milk. And blend those together first because you want to ensure that you get no chunks of green in your mouth because that is so disgusting. So make sure you really blend that first together. And then I am taking a quarter cup of those old fashioned oats and putting it in the smoothie cup along with about a teaspoon of that brewer's yeast. I don't want a ton of it because because again, it doesn't taste that great. So about a teaspoon of that, and I'm adding a couple spoonfuls of Greek yogurt, the full fat Greek yogurt. It might be about a half a cup or so. Put it in there for the protein, and any frozen berries or frozen fruit that you have, incorporate that in. And the last way I would incorporate the brewer's yeast into my diet was by having a bowl of oatmeal. And in that oatmeal, it is just the full rolled oats. And I would have this probably every other morning. Um, I would have oats, I would put in about a teaspoon of that brewer's yeast, a teaspoon of the flaxseed meal, some berries and a little drizzle of maple syrup. And I would also put like a seasoning on top. I would use the Trader Joe's pumpkin spice seasoning or you can use cinnamon just to help take that smell of the brewer's yeast away. Cause like I've said many times, it is super overpowering. So we are almost six weeks out from the beginning of this experiment and what has become of my milk supply? Well, by incorporating brewer's yeast and the tea, I would say it hasn't increased my milk supply for me personally. However, 
it has not dipped either. I would say it has maintained my milk supply, which makes me incredibly happy to know that it is just kind of at a steady pace and it is at a steady amount every time I feed her and I pump. Now I know everybody is going to have different results whenever they um, implement brewer's yeast or this tea into their diet. So I am curious to see if you've ever tried it and if it's ever worked for you. Every body is different and every body is going to react differently to these types of ingredients. So your mileage may vary if you decide to try this. Um, and if you do, let me know in the comments if you decide to try implementing these ingredients into your diet to try to increase your breast milk. And if you've done it before in the past, let me know if these have worked for you or what has worked for you. What I will say though is that you do have to be pretty consistent on eating and drinking the stuff because um, I was doing really good in February into early March and then there was a weekend we went out of town and I forgot my tea. And so I felt like there was a tiny dip there, but I think I've gone up since then. Also, I wanted to show you. So I breastfed her not that long ago but I pumped on the same side and here is, it's almost three ounces. She nursed on that same side that I pumped on. So I feel like if she didn't nurse and I just strictly pumped, it would have been closer to four ounces. So I think we're doing really good here. So I hope this video helps somebody out there if they are trying to decide they want to incorporate brewer's yeast into their diet or the mother's milk tea. Let me know if you give it a try. So we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh. <laughs> you hear?